a message. Wild growing real fam. It's been a minute. So I'm back with another video as I'm out here exercising. It is a great morning. I had to get out here before the 90s hit because oh my god. It's been hella hot here in Atlanta. It's probably hot wherever you are too. It's like super hot. 90s. Close to 100. Past 100. All of that. Summer's brutal so far. It's not even August yet. So anyway, I was out here thinking about something that always plagues me. Um, or something that I just always think about. You already know, or most people already know, in the Christian community, a lot of times, um, people say, you know, God will put you through stuff. God will put you through a lot of trials just to get you where you finally need to be. God will do this, God will do that. God will put you even in the most uncomfortable positions just to bring you where you need to be. And I always look at that as bullshit. Reason being is because that doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense that the so-called God has to put you through trauma, severe trauma to break you and then bring you back to where you need to be. Does that make any sense to you? I hope you're not one of the people who say that to others because that's just kind of cool if you really think about it. It's not, it doesn't make sense that any loving deity, any loving father of yours will put you through massive trauma, right? Molestation, multiple deaths, you know, any kind of trauma. Losing your family, whatever it is. It doesn't make sense that you'd be put through all that trauma just to come out on the other side and say, oh yeah, I'm closer to him now. Oh, he is Lord. He is God. Like in my case, all the trauma I went through, molested for five years, and I came out on the other side in a great way, and I'm closer than ever to nature now. Like, my eyes are wide open, my vibrations are rising, and I try to keep it that way. But, if I come across the wrong person, they're going to be sitting there telling me some bullshit about oh you were supposed to go through that you know how they talk god has a plan for you he always had a plan for you he had a plan to bring you here it's just so you can get closer to him what the fuck like no y'all i don't listen to that type of shit because it doesn't make sense it doesn't make any sense at all any loving parent deity Entity, spirit, being, um, whatever it is, would not do such a thing. You mean you gotta fall that hard before you can get back up? Or before you can get up at all? What? I'm not, ga I'm not gathering that, y'all. Let me know your opinions because some people still do believe this. And even I go through those, I go through those mixed periods where... I somewhat think it's true based on how my life has gone. I was like real deep in the trenches. And now I feel more spiritually inclined than the majority of people around me. So it's like, wait, what? I don't know. It's like I don't fully believe it, but I have those moments. You know, everybody has those moments. But you kind of second guess what you were taught. You kind of second guess your own beliefs. And you're sitting there like, yeah, how did I get this close? How did I end up at this in this mode of happiness? How did I reach this peak of happiness? How did I reach this? How did I elevate this high? I don't know. <laughs> That's just my morning thoughts, y'all. Because again, this is something that I always I always think about, and it's like, was I really brought through trauma just to get here? And I always say no, because like I said, it doesn't make sense. But let me know your thoughts because I'm sure I'm not the only one with a traumatic story who ended up coming out coming out happier than ever. I'm sure I'm not the only one with a traumatic story who ended up 
being the most spiritual one around everyone, being closer to nature. Whereas most people, it seem like seem like people who haven't been through shit are nowhere near close to nature. Like they just seen folks out here just going to work, doing their own thing. They litter. They don't care about the earth. They don't do anything regarding mother nature. They don't meditate. You know, they're not they're not close like that to earth. And it's just weird. It's like for some reason in its own way it does seem like trauma has a way of bringing you closer to where you're supposed to be i don't know if that's like a fear tactic that happens with whatever entity is controlling us or what i don't even know it does seem like it there's a reason it seems like that either somebody's fucking with us or hey i don't know i don't even know sometimes it feels like somebody's fucking with you Because even people who have near-death experiences, they end up closer to God or closer to nature. They do. <laughs> and it's like, why did you have to nearly die just for you to finally fucking appreciate your life and appreciate what's around you? Like, I'm not going to get to that point. I always tell myself I'll never let myself get to the point where I'm about to die. And I don't know I'm about to die. It's just like a split-second thing. And I've wronged so many people. And I've wronged the earth and I didn't do what I was supposed to do when I was here and when I was alive and well and then I'm about to die and all of a sudden I'm panicking I'm panicking I'm like oh my god I didn't do what I was supposed to do I'm gonna finally flip it all around uh-uh I don't want to I don't want to ever be in that shit that's to me that's a bad position to be in to be honest that's a really bad position to be in and I don't want to be there so that's why I always tell myself no my mission is to get closer and closer to nature and whatever I do, respect nature, respect the earth, and just keep it going like that. I'm not gonna wait till something traumatic happens, or something else traumatic to happen in my life for me to get closer. Because you know, when you're a child, you can you can only you can't do too much when you're a child in a certain environment. But when you're an adult, y'all, <laughs> there are things you can do to keep yourself spiritually inclined, and I'm not about to stray from that. So. Oh my god, these mosquitoes in this water. Y'all, this is gross looking. The water is great, but the mosquitoes, y'all. I'm so sad that all these mosquitoes are just polluting the water endlessly. I really think mosquitoes don't belong here. Like, I just, I wish they would just go. Freaking man-made bugs. They're everywhere. I thought I wore pants today. They normally don't eat up my arms, but for some reason they eat up my legs a lot, so had to wear some pants. Glad I did, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just want to talk about that today. Let me know your opinions on the matter. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. Do you think that trauma really does bring you closer to where you're supposed to be? Do you think it's done on purpose? What? Just let me know. Thank you for... Oh, wait. What I usually say. I hope you guys are having a great day, second hour, month, minute, and week. Thank you for watching. Peace out.